Back live here, courtside inside Foley Gymnasium. Plymouth State coming away with a very impressive 3-1 to one victory. I'm now joined by Ari Linden. Ari, a great match for you. It's been tough for you guys as of late as a team. 1-10 in 10 in the last 11, but we've seen the progress. What's really stood out for you guys? What got you guys going here tonight? I think our energy was all around 100% the whole time, and that really kept us up, and we played happy, and we had fun the whole time. For you, you came alive in the second and third sets for sure. We saw your excitement on a lot of the kills and the blocks, that service ace as well. What's changed in your game? What got you fired up personally here tonight for this win? I really think connecting with the setters really got us pumped, like all around, and just hearing the crowd be loud and the bench being excited really got me excited. As a player, it's the pink game for you guys here today. It's going to a great cause all month long in October. What does it mean to you to play in a game like this? It means so much to me. I lost a family member to cancer, so it means a lot. It's, sorry. it's quite all right. Ari, thank you for your time. Congratulations on a very big win and your first in the Little East here this season. Thank you so much. We turn our attention over to head coach Joan Forge. Coach, a great win for you here tonight. As we mentioned, your first win in the Little East Conference. We've seen the progress over the last month that we talked with Ari Linden. It's been tough. One in 10 in the last 11, but you guys came out absolutely on fire here tonight. What has changed with this program here to culminate to this win this evening? A lot had to do with enough is enough. You know, we get on that. We started out so strong this season, and then all of a sudden we took this nosedive. But what happened was October 1st came yesterday, and we said October, we're starting all over again. We're putting the September behind us, and it's time to move forward. And we just really talked about October being our month, and let's have a strong finish for the season. And the Dig Pink game couldn't have come at a better time because there are so many people here. The crowd was fantastic. It gave the girls, they had a lot of energy, but it even gave more energy. Just to have that um, support from their uh, student body was just wonderful. Everything about today was just perfect. They were fantastic. They had energy. They were positive. Everything worked. It just all came together. And I think, I know we're going to go forward from this from this match. It's, it's the confidence that they needed, and this is going to hopefully propel them into all the rest of October. We no see some, it shouldn't. We seen some changes with your lineup. We've seen Shannon uh, Howland become more of that server specialist that we've seen in the past, getting away from the setting, but she had some great sets. Is that something you guys have been really focusing on, getting the offense more in rhythm and more timely at the front of the net? It, there's no doubt it was all, it's all about connections. It's about they, we have three freshmen on the court. We have um, Brooke Baudet as her libero, and she's taken Brenna's spot from last year. So, you know, here we have a freshman still learning the position, doing a great job. And then you've got Alexa Price as a freshman setter, trying to take Megan Bailey's spot. So she's learning, um, and she's really coming on strong. And then you have Hannah Chartier, who's uh, a defensive specialist, who again is taking a spot from a graduate. Um, so you've got three freshmen out there, and, and they're, start, they're really starting to come into their own and showing their athleticism, and the upperclassmen are, have taken them under their wing, and they're starting con to connect as a team, both offensively, defensively. It, they're, they're making it happen. You hit over 300 here tonight. Uh, was was <laughs> dominant in the second and third set, 355 and 328, if I remember off the top of my head. What stood out to you the most about the offense and the defense here for your team this evening? You know... I think a lot of it really was they were motivated. I think it was a, a, a real, um, they were convinced that October is going to be their month. They did let, it's hard to let things go when you're on such a skid. And so it just, it just kept piling up and piling up, and they would get behind in a score, and you just see them not give up, but you just see the, the bubble burst. And, and today it, it was just all energy the whole time, up, down, didn't matter. They just had energy. They did exactly what they need to do in a volleyball match. Looking at things, Big pink game here tonight. What does it mean to you to be a part of something so special like this for a special event? I've been doing dig pink for uh, ever since I've been coaching, so at least uh, you know at least 30 years. Um, and I did have a volleyball player um, that played in a state championship high school match. Uh, her name was Amy Annis, and she passed away at the age of 33. And and so we've been raising money uh, for dig pink, and I've been a part of that for all these years. And Literally, we've been raising thousands and thousands of dollars for research so that people that do get breast cancer can survive. And every time there's a survivor, we, we are like, we help that person. And so this team is going to do their walkathon on October 27th at Opeachy Park. They're going to be part of that. So we're going to be raising money, not just today, but um, all, all month. Yep. You've got a big match to get ready for, a try match this weekend, Endicott and Babs, and two of the top in New England. What do you guys need to do to get refocused for a very tough opponent this weekend in both of those teams? 
Uh, just keep working hard in practice. And uh, just, again, this is a good confidence builder, and we need to take that confidence into the next. Because uh, there, there's no doubt they're going to be tough, but I think the ladies are ready for the challenge. Coach, thank you for your time. Best of luck this weekend. We'll see you next Wednesday when you take on UMass Boston. Thank you, Dan.